Hey there and happy Wednesday. So yesterday was an exciting day with the catalog launch and um, I was able to keep up with orders and so excited to see what everybody had on their list to get right away. Um, and uh, some of you like to get a bunch right away and some of you are like, okay, let's get this for now, but you still have your running wish list in the background as do I. So um, hi there, Lois. It's always great when my hostess is right here to jump in right away. Way. So what I have for Lois's um, virtual stamp party card number two here is the Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. And so my greeting when I hold it like this looks a little wonky. I put my card wonky, the paper. So like the more I looked at it, I'm like, I think I might when I demo like rearrange things a little bit, but it makes it made sense at the time. Hi there, Julie. And um and hi there, Margaret. So um, so hopefully um, as I make it um, for you guys, it'll look a little less wonky and still make sense um, with my intentions and everything. So yeah, so um, also um, I love designer series papers. So that's why I was really excited about today's card. Let me get my camera turned around. I didn't disappear. I try to say that usually before I turn my camera around. <laughs> um, so um so um, I love designer series paper and I was very excited about this pretty paper. Let's see, I want Lois's name there in my camera. There we go. Hi there, Kelly. Good to have you on here. And um, so with that, um, I don't know if I made a mistake. So I um, ordered the paper and I can order or open the catalog today. So here's the new annual catalog. Last time I demoed Lois's first card, I wasn't able to open it up, but now today I can. So on pages 110 and 111 of the catalog, they have this gorgeous uh, layout of the whole Daisy, um, Fresh as a Daisy Sweet collection. And so my mistake that I maybe made is that I ordered the paper and the embellishments, but not the stamp set bundle. Can you believe it? Because I'm like, I don't know if what I think about that. And I love the paper, love the paper. And I'm like, I can put sentiments with that. And now I, since then, have seen tons of ideas using this. This is one of the bundles that, as demonstrators, we could... Um, we could order as a pre-order. Oh, Kelly, you're not late to the party. I'm just getting started. I haven't even started the card. You're good. <laughs> so as a pre-order, then that's why you'll see certain products in the catalog, like this bundle um, and these things um, more than others, because it was one of the things that we could pre-order to have right away. And so um, now that I think, oh, maybe I should get this, it's on low inventory already. I just helped somebody order it today and it's on low inventory. So keep that in mind if it's something Something that you think, boy, do I want that? So, um, so that's something to to keep thinking about. All right, so I'm pairing that today with the very best occasion stamp set because that was my goal was to get out this pretty paper and I'll show you that more in depth here too. Very best occasions is kind of, um, well actually it is a carryover. So um, I like to point out since I haven't memorized the catalog yet, I say yet. Um, so if you go to the back, there is an index. A lot of people forget there's an index. So I thought instead of looking it up, I'm going to remind people that there's an index. So if I go to Very Best Occasions in the back, I see that's on page 38. And I'm glad that they did carry that over because it's got a lot of great um, sentiments for birthday, sympathy, um, thank you, things like that. So even Christmas, I used it a lot at Christmas if you remember that. So, um, so that's where that is coming from. But let me show you the pretty paper because because remember that is why I got you know so excited about it this is what I'm using today um love mauve it was one of my wedding colors not gonna lie um this is the new color the wild wheat so it pairs with that had a interesting conversation um thank you Shannon I love it too it's so just like fun paper um hi Becky so um it's funny that Becky's on here so I was talking to your sister yesterday Becky I won't say which one but um we were talking about the the interesting color of honey wheat. I said I liked it and she said, you know, it kind of reminds me of something not too appealing um, that's in a baby's diaper. And I'm like, oh my goodness, it really does. But, um, you know, the more we looked at it and went, oh gosh, you know, it does, doesn't it? And so, um, but we love it. And she ended up ordering it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and so here's um, just kind of a fun 12 by 12 layout. You can cut all these into sections and kind of piece together to make gorgeous cards. I can't wait to do something fun with this one. Um, and then the, um, the Moody Mauve here um, again. And then this one's fun. I kind of want to pair this up with a bright red ladybug. You know, we still have that ladybug and punch carrying over. That's what I want to do with this. And then um, on the back side, kind of that new pebbled path that I think is going to look really pretty. So imagine white daisies popped up on that. I think that'll be pretty. This is fun paper, kind of the new copper clay color, and then like a random pattern there. And um, like this, I just want to frame this like in a white frame because it's so pretty. And the back side there has just the random pattern. And then here again, almost um, kind of similar to the other one where I could picture like um, little tiny um, bugs, cute bugs. I don't like bugs, especially spiders, um, but like ladybugs um, in here too as well. And then the back side of this is that new pretty blue azure afternoon. So we've got that going. Um, so that's the pretty paper. And oh yeah, then I was like, what's this? Well, just more of the same because I never buy more than or less than one package, right? So that's the Fresh as a Daisy Designer Series paper. Just reminding people if you're wondering like, well, what cardstock do I order to go with it? It's always listed in the catalog as well as on the back side of it if you have already ordered it and it's in there. So Moody Mauve is um an in color, one of the new in colors. And I'm pairing that today with bubble bath and the bubble bath is such a nice um, pink. I was wondering and kind of nervous um, that it might look, and this is why things always look a little different in the catalog than in person, and I like to kind of point that out. Hi there, Barb. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Fern. Um, because I thought this had like purple tones to it, and I was like, well, we already kind of have fresh freesia and things, but this is a really nice, soft, like baby pink color. So, um, and so, oh, there's Pam. I saw lots made with the wild wheat and boho blue. Blue. Now, wild wheat's one of my favorites. Yes. Now, isn't that something? I think we all go through that. And then, um, like I said, this was like the mauve color. Um, it wasn't this deep of a mauve. It was in my wedding, and um, everything had to be mauve at the time. Like I decorated my room that time. At that time, that color too. Um, now I have to sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. I've been outside chasing the guys around, so maybe spring is here, and if I'm sneezing, that's a good sign, I guess. <laughs> excuse me for that, though. All right, so let me get started there with the card. Like I said, I kind of wanted the paper to be funky, but then I feel like, okay, my sentiment um, ended up funky, and um, I'm going to make a better card during the demo for Lois's virtual party. So um, hopefully um, I can just make some adjustments on this one and get that fixed. Otherwise, this one's not going out. But I love so much of how it came together. Super simple card, but I like one of those cards, super simple, but sending it out will be just like so fun for those that are going to receive it. Um, so my card base here um, opens up this way with the Moody Mauve. And then I have just cut the next layer, that quarter inch smaller. So this is um, four inches by five and a quarter with a bubble bath. And then we're doing another step down. And then this one is um, going to be, or is cut 3.75 by five um, with that fresh as a daisy. So just a quarter inch less each step. And I like to mention not just the measurements, but to point out, um, thank you, Lois. I'm glad that you like your card for your party. Um, hi there, Chris. Um, so I like to point out not just the measurements, but that it's a quarter inch because a lot of times um, newer newer crafters are like, like, how do you know how to measure that? And so I always say that quarter inch to me is very eye appealing to go that step down each time. So we've got that. And then I've just thrown in these little pieces. And so by the end of this card today, um, you'll see there's going to be hardly any left. Um, my goal is um, to use up as much of the 12 by 12 as possible. So what I'm going to say start with first is um, just taking um, this and matting it together and I do kind of like the little wonky look um, so I'm just gonna tape this down and I kind of lay like okay I know I want that on here and I lay it down because at an angle so that my angles don't get too wild and wait a minute, let's see. Yeah, is that the angle that I have it at? Yeah, um, because if my angles get too off, it's not, it's gonna go off the card, which in turn will go off or, you know, like out of the envelope type thing. So let's see, I just wanna make sure like 
here kind of like so there we go all right so when I tape that to that then I can still take that off but I've got that all right and then what I did was took this same um, designer series paper you know when you take and you cut down the 12 by 12 into sections of 3.75 by 5. You've got all of these um, for card fronts. But what you've got usually left over, raise your hand if you have strips and strips and strips that are 12 inches by anywhere from like um, an inch and a half to two inches that look just like this. And like I said, I could do a whole month of card techniques and classes on how to use up those scraps. But what I did then was t um, took like the scraps from that and cut this one four and an eighth. Um, so in between kind of this four inch and the card base four and an eighth and then I'm going to um, have that honey wheat um, color showing to kind of make that pop a little bit and I'm also going to do something else to make a pop so now that's going to go on there next and and um, there'll be a reason why I'm just going to kind of float this this is where I think I'm going to kind of make this look a little different I want this part to go straight across on my card my sample card I wanted it at an angle but then I felt like okay if I have my sentiment not in an angle then it's like it just looks goofy so now I want this going straight across and before I tape that down we're going to add this little trim so the trim here is the gold and silver 1 8 inch trim combo pack and this is one of those online exclusives so remember when the rhinos came out and then those fun um, tropical leaves um, that bundle this also came out so it's silver and gold and um and so um that's where that is found so if you're looking like i don't remember seeing that in the catalog that is where um oh and kelly says yes strips make great pages for scrapbooking um yes they do and i have to remember that too so um i don't throw hardly anything away i should just um like start scrapbooking more <laughs> <laughs> good good clue there or hint or tip there we go so I'm using the gold um it's funny because I kind of thought oh this silver trim would look so pretty with that new daisy paper because like to me blue and silver go together and so I was kind of thinking different things and then all of a sudden I went oh this gold really makes the honey wheat color pop so kind of already changed gears before I even knew what I was doing so look how pretty that is on there that gold trim so I've got that and then um, to make things super simple we're just gonna do a little bit of stamping here and then um, Shannon is asking can you still get the Rhino set which is a good question because the online exclusives come and go um, I'm gonna talk about it as I open up my Moody Mauve and start inking up that very best occasions happy birthday um, so the Rhino set is still available the dies it sounds like has sold out so um, so that was kind of interesting. We never know how long things are going to last. So that's kind of the the um, information about the Rhino Bundle. So I'm inking up with the uh, Moody Mauve here. My happy birthday. Very nice, easy to read font. And then I'm going to um, get out my double um, double oval punch. And so what I do usually when I use this is just kind of cut strips that fit like this fits in the upper, so that way you're not cutting out an oval that you don't even want. And same with the white, because like this one, you can just feed from the top and only get that. So you could feed in a whole eight and a half by 11 sheet and it's going to just take that out. But what happens when you feed an eight and a half by 11 piece of white, you're gonna get this extra oval. So that's where I usually kind of cut down my strips and so um, that way we don't have too much. And actually kind of stamp that a little crooked kind of goes with my huh, wonky card today that I didn't want to be too wonky but kind of wonky there we go now I can center that in my punch and have the nice happy birthday there so we've got that just using up all sorts of little pieces and scraps all right so um let me now tape down this I didn't realize I didn't <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and tape this down back at that angle here. There we go, like so. So I've got that. And um, yeah, so look at, like I said, I kind of wanted that strip, but now with it straight, it's more appealing to the eye, even with the paper still at that angle that I wanted. All right, so what I'm going to do is pop up the happy birthday with a couple dimensions here. 
flip that over like so and like if you have designer series paper um, a lot of you say I have so much paper this is such an easy layout so keep this in mind um, for using that up so then what I'm going to do is just take a couple little strips that are on the very edges here of our dimensionals um, and such so um, Okay, so th then Pam, so Pam's saying she loves just, you know, this little strip that I've added there too. And it does add a little bit, like, and especially when I cover it up with the sentiment here. So what I'm doing is just kind of um, uh, laying a little track for that ribbon and such to go through so it's not extra bulky. So that's why I put it um, there so that we have that to go through to kind of straddle the ribbon. Um, wait till you see what I do for the inside Pam. That's going to be fun too today. All right, so I want to make sure now that this is squared up on that strip. So now this doesn't hurt my eyes like the other one as much. I love how this came together. Those pictures are so um, fun. Oh, <laughs> Julie's watching with one eye today. You and Mike Wazowski. Um, if you remember Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. with the big one eye, but um, I know it's because you had eye surgery, not that you only have one eye. But I always love that joke when people say, hey, my name's Mike, and I'm like with one eye. Um, and I always giggle, and everybody looks at me like I've got two heads. Um, <laughs> but it's it, you have to watch Monsters, Inc. to get the joke, right? Okay, so that's it for the outside. But when there again, when we cut all these little strips, or um, all these big chunks we have the strips so um, then I cut down you know this and flipped it over and then we have the skinnier strip here but then also how many of you when you cut um, up your um, eight and a half by eleven into four by five and a quarter sections to do a bunch of these mattings have all these half inch strips laying around so that's where we're going to open up the inside and just do a little bit with that so I'm taking my normal four by five and a quarter and I'm going to stamp kind of the other sentiment from Very Best Occasions that goes and matches the happy birthday. And it says, sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. And then I'm just going to scoot that there. And so we have just this tiny little like one eighth strip here. And instead of using the wheat side, I am going to use the daisy side and adhere that on to the half inch bubble bath like so, and there's just the littlest bit sticking off the side, and I'm going to put some tape on there, and I just love putting this little bit of a um, band across the bottom. Usually I'll take like a about this much or even a little wider of the designer series paper, but I kind of like um, uh, doubling up the designer series paper on the cardstock there. And so um, just kind of another fun way to use up um, that cardstock um, or designer series paper, I should say. And then that's going to go here on the inside. And look how special that looks to have that following through. So we've got that on the outside and then this on the inside. Thank you, Pam. Now, things that didn't make it onto my project today, I have a few. I was certain that this little oval, the scalloped oval, should be like in the bubble bath and such. And so when I pulled that color in, it just was like too light and I needed something darker to kind of set the base for that. So um, that's something that did make it. Um, these are the pieces like you'll have just, if you make like a whole sheet of these from your 12 by 12, you'll have like maybe um, eight pieces that are about that size that you don't use out of the full 12 by 12. So I love cards like this where it really looks like you're adding lots to it and using up all the paper so you don't have those scraps left over. Um, other things that didn't make it onto the card today are some of those newer accessories, the adhesive back solid gems and the 2023-2025 in color dots. These both coordinate so beautifully with that paper and with the project. But as I tried to um, kind of place certain ones in here, like the gold to go with the honey wheat and even some of these darker ones to go with that 
coppery color. They just got lost. Um, the paper's busy enough and um, having that gold trim pop just really helped. And I'm like, you know what? We'll save these pretty, pretty accessories that I love for a day where they really shine and show off um, something that you're going to notice it. So, um, so I'm just kind of leaving that. But one extra touch that I do want to do is to take my Wink of Stella and give it a little squeeze, not a big squeeze. Um, and for those of you that order Wink of Stella, a lot of times in my video, I've got my Wink of Stella ready to go. So if you are new and order just your first Wink of Stella ever, know that when it comes in the packaging, there's like a little black band right here. So you'll open your Wink of Stella, take the black band off, and then um, put it back together, shake it up, give it a little shake, and then a little squeeze, and it's good to go. A lot of people have said, I can't get my Wink of Stella to, to work, and then I kind of forget about that step until I open up my next Wink of Stella. So adding this Wink of Stella to these leaves, and I like I say, I never know if this even picks up on the camera, you know, um, from your end or not. But just know that these leaves all have now this kind of subtle little sparkly sparkle to them. And I love Wink of Stella because it, it dries fast. And then once it dries, it's just good to go and you can stick it right in the envelope. You don't have to worry about like walking on eggshells around it for two days while it dries and isn't tacky. So, um, so that just adds a little shimmer shine and I always try to move it around and I don't know if you can see it, but just know that it is on there. Um, thank you, Kelly. Hi Val. So that is card number two then for Lois's party there. There we have it. All right, let me get this flipped around. So tomorrow I will be bringing you card number three and for Lois's party. And I'm excited because I wanna do something whimsical and I'm kind of torn between the cute zoo animals or that monkeying around. I think it might be the monkeys. That's kind of what is drawing me um, towards it. So that will be her third card. And how you can get Lois's special three cards that I'm making is place a minimum $25 order towards her party using her host code and then you'll get the three cards as a thank you from her and I for ordering through her party. Next week I have a hostess lined up already too. So I have Tori Kroger that stepped up to be a virtual hostess. So I'm excited to do three more cards for her virtual event here for you on Facebook Live. So check in tomorrow and next week I'll be back as well. Have a good night. Bye-bye.